Hello everyone, welcome back to Bonsai Expression. I'm Christoph. Now today we're going to be working on a grey pearl larch. Now, I don't really know much about this variety of larch. I just know really much about the Japanese and the golden larch. So I thought I'd buy this from the local garden centre and I would use it as a mother plant because it's grafted. So the idea was to buy it and then use it as a mother plant and um, obviously not seed it but to take cuttings and then use that and make more. So I thought in the meantime I would try a little experiment and see if I could um oh, I'll show you. This is the tree. So I've trimmed it and used a little bit of the bonsai technique and I've got it looking nice up top as you can see just there but the graft is just in here and it's swelling a little bit you can't really see because it's got the cable tie on but there we go just there and it's got this long trunk which I thought I would try and put a bit of movement in so I twisted it but coming back and thinking on it I thought with it being so long why not try and make it into a literati? Why not, eh? So, that's the aim for today. I'm going to put it in... Oh well, I'm going to wire it up. I'm going to try and literati it. And then... Yeah. If it works, it works. And if it doesn't, I intend to grow this out, take cuttings from it, and then... Um, yeah. Use it as a, uh, a mother tree. Whether it works or not. But I thought we'd do this as a little experiment. So as I say, there we go, it's a grey pearl, I don't know what the difference is, I assume it's something to do with the colour, either autumn colour or spring colour, um, but as it's growing it seems to have a, more of a, a little greyish colour tinge to it, like a bluey colour, but it seems to be nice, and I, I want to try and work on this sort of area as it's been grafted. See if I can bring it down a little bit to make it nice. You never know, it might be a nice tree if we can correct that. And then we can use it as a nice literati tree and the mother plant at the same time. But hi ho, we'll have a go. If if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but you don't know if you don't try. So let's get it on the bench, let's get some wire around it, let's try and manipulate it into some sort of shape. And let's see if we can get it into a nice bonsai literati. What's the worst can go wrong? Oof, shouldn't say that. I don't want to be snapping it. Ooh. Let's go. I'm going to start by removing this little tag. Put that to one side. And let's take these cable ties off. And then I want to take this pole out as well. So it's kept its shape. It's got its nice little twist in it. And it is quite flexible. So I've got a section here that's growing underneath. I'll take that out because that will add swelling. And as you can see, it probably already has. Let me just bring the tree in rather than zooming you in. So you can see there already starting to swell. So I need to try and clean this section up best as I can. So this section has already had a few bits growing on it. Now with larch, there we go, the larch tree, the outer bark itself is very, very thick. So that in itself can cause a lot of the swelling. So I'm going to go around and start taking some of that off. That in itself, as I say, will combat a lot. Of the swelling. And theoretically, just by doing that, we will reduce, as you can see, a lot of the sections. So, theoretically, it will reduce the swelling. Yeah. So, just where all these branches have already been removed. The bark has grown around on it and that, especially this section here, has grown a lot of the bark on top of it. So I'm going to go around, take a lot of this off. Stop that swelling anymore. Yeah. 
yeah a lot of this is just where previous branches have been you can see it just here there and there all that swelling and just up here as well You can see it. So if I take that bit out as well. So I don't want to take too much because I don't want to restrict the flow of sap. But a lot of that. A lot of that is excess, excess bark. Okay, that's as far as I want to go. That bit there is a graft. Me wire out. It's got a big dead wood in there as well. In fact, I'll try and get rid of that dead wood. That dead wood isn't helping the cause. Right, I'll have to put some healing paste on that. Okay, let's move the tree just a little bit out of the way so you can see. Now you can see all of this perfectly. And I've got a good healthy amount of wire so where this original post was I'm just going to go in with a wire and I'm going to start wrapping all the way around with this screw nice tight coils there you go Whoa. I don't want the wire to get caught on the camera So we get some nice tight coils all the way up. And you can see I'm just spinning the tree and let the coil do the work.
Okay, now while we're bending this, we want to bend with the coil or with the wire. So it does bend nice and easy. Just put some basic shape into it just for now, just to make sure it does move. Okay, so it does move as you can see. Move it up a little bit. Should have put maybe a bit more wire on it just to give it a little bit more movement that way. I think that'll do. So let's give it a lot better shape and movement now. So now it comes up, angles, and goes right round and then back up again. So we move it that way a little bit maybe. I was gonna go further up and then come down a little bit. I do kind of like that.
I think I'll leave that for the time being. Uh, let me show you on another angle. So for me, the front is going to be, I'd say, it's just there. So for you. Just there. Something like that. And then that is some more other angles. So I'm just going to mark the front by popping it in the pot for future reference. But I think we've done well. It's looking alright. Should we trim some of these back a bit of it? I think the only thing I want to do is just maybe get rid of that back one there. For the time being, that I think that'll just do. Let it get a bit of growing done. And then I'll come back to it. But there we go. Just a little bit of movement in it, does wonders. There we go. So the larch has been all wired up and we've put some interesting movement back into the tree instead of it being all tall and straight. If, well, we've cut all this section out just here and we tried getting rid of that horrible graft. And, you know, it looks a hell of a lot better, but if it regrows back in and it gets all gnarly again, we go back to the original plan, which is use this as the mother tree, and we take cuttings from it, and we get several more trees in the future. But if it stays and it grows in nicely, and we get a nice, nice, neat growth over there, and we can hide that graft, you know, we get a nice tree out of it. So there we go. So hopefully, as I say, we get a nice tree out of it and then we can use it as a mother tree as well. So we get two in one. That's the idea anyways. So if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think of this tree. Do you think that I will get lucky and get rid of this awful graft and then get it covered up by some nice growth? I hope I do because this will make a nice little tree coming in the future. And uh, either way, we're going to get some really, really nice cuttings from it and get some more clones. Anyway, I'm quite happy with how it's looking. Nice little bends. More interesting that tree anyways. So next year, as long as it survives that little trim neating up, next year we'll get it into a nice pot and get it all potted up. Looking, looking nice. So thanks for watching today and I'll see you in the next one. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment. See you everybody.